everyone for today's project i have this piece of beechwood here i have a few boards it's a part of old uh, bench uh, from the kitchen and i rounded this a bit and it will be a base for my bowl and this is the best part because the bowl i will try to create from the legs from the old wardrobe and legs looks like that the wardrobe has had uh, maybe 40 50 years uh, at least maybe more i don't know i suppose it's a beechwood too uh, this is the old and this is the young uh, beechwood this will be a totally different wood if you uh, when you will see this and from this legs i will use only this round part i will put this on the light straight it up clean it up and then make the same size maybe 45 millimeters uh, cylinders then i will split those cylinders on two halves so i will get a 12 identical cylinders i suppose it will be identical and then i will put them on the outside of the edge of the plate i will create it will be 12 i will mark this on my lathe uh, and i will put them a bit uh, out of the rim uh, because because i will i don't know will i explain this correctly if you please see this side this side if here this part will be out of the rim here will be the base on the bowl and w when I will create the uh, curved shape here, the main uh, shape will be looking like a uh, shark's tooth and will be like a pyramid, something like that. We will see how it will be looking. It will be curved and from every side. So it should looking pretty nice. I don't know will it work. I suppose I, in the middle of the work I will have to uh put a some some uh, ring on the top to keep it on in place so if you are interested and curious how it will be looking after turning as i am so please stay with me and watch this video okay and i have 16 cylinders not 12 as i said on the beginning i made few more because uh, in case if i would need it because i don't know what will be the size uh, of the basic plate and the top ring uh, so i i have prepared some more now i will and then and i will put them uh, on the drum sander because and that's why i squeezed them with a metal band to keep them stiff and clean it up both sides because the parallel walls are the most important now let's back to the main plate straight it up and we will see what we got
whole segmented blank is ready for turning, cleaning, finishing. I hope everything is keeping good, nothing will fly away and the bow will be looking very good. So let's start it. Okay, I have finished sanding and now I will apply a shellac on it, one coat and we, I will leave it tomorrow, sand this again because I have some heat outs uh, and tomorrow I will try to finish it and clean up the bottom of course, hope it will be a good solution.
And okay, bowl is finished. I will, I will, I will clean that, clean the bowl from the dust, and we will see this bowl on the turntable.